Well, hello, <laughs> welcome to my living room that is currently full of, I don't know, I think I have 10 or 11 car seats to show you today. I'm gonna get the chat started. Thank you all for joining me. I am Michelle with Safe in the Seat. Come on screen, there we go. Uh, I do, most of the time I spend doing all things car seat safety. What is this saying? Um, <laughs> that was a long follow person. Um, glad to have you here. Anyways, most of the time I do all things car seat safety. So you can find me on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. Uh, and I do Amazon Lives quite frequently too. Today we are focusing on the best convertible car seats that are found here on Amazon. This is part one. We will have another part as well with some other seats that we really like, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with too many seats today. And then just make sure you join us for the other lives that we do as well. The best way to know when we go live is to click that follow button and uh, make sure you have notifications turned on. Okay, so I think that says Jill. I like can barely read that. I'm gonna, I have my computer back here so I can see the comments as you all are making them. I also want you to know why you cannot see them. Two of my Safe in the Seat colleagues are on this stream as well. So Becca and Lainey on the uh, Safe in the Seat team. Lainey is a fellow child passenger safety technician and she will be able to answer all of your car seat questions in the comments if I'm not able to get to them, you know, while I'm sort of demoing and showing you what car seats that we have here today. So let me grab my computer right now. That's a whole lot of fuzz that I see on that side of the screen. Welcome to getting older. Hello again, Jill. Um, is there a law that children need to ride in a car seat until the age of 12? The laws are dependent on the states that you're in. Um, so you're really gonna wanna be mindful of that if you want to follow the laws. We recommend that you follow best practice, which is always better than the laws. So best practice is gonna give us the best fit for your child to, for optimal protection in a car crash. So let's get started with some basics first. Okay, a convertible car seat, just so we're all on the same page. A convertible car seat is one that converts. It starts in rear facing mode. Let me turn my vehicle seat for you so we can be visual learners here. <laughs> so your car seat, right, it starts in rear facing at a different recline and then it switches to forward facing mode some of these seats we have a couple in here that also have a high back booster mode and a high back booster is where you use the vehicle your child to use the vehicle seat belt so that's what a convertible car seat is what i also want you to know is the safe of the seat team we are very particular about what car seats we recommend so none of the car seat brands asked us to share these car seats with you. These are our own recommendations. And we do this based on a pretty rigorous set of criteria that we follow. And it includes things like most of these car seats fit well in all vehicles. They fit kids, the majority of kids really well. They have some ease of use features that we like. We make sure we cover all budget ranges. Those are some of the things that, you know, could get a car seat on the safe in the seat list and We've tried them. So we've tested them and tried them in vehicles and with kids to make sure we personally would use these seats with our own kids. Okay, let's get to it. Um, all right, so Lainey, are you, you'll be in on the comments that are coming in um, because I can't answer all of those right now, but let's start with the first seat up, which is on sale right now, and it is not often on sale. This is a really great seat. It's the Graco Trio Grow. It's the one that I'm showing you guys here. Can you fully, I seriously can like barely see the screen that far away. So I wanna make sure, is that good? Is the angle okay for you? Somebody give me like a, I feel good about what I'm seeing there. So I can watch it on the comments back here on my laptop. Okay, so let me give you some, um, thank you. Let me give you some, thank you guys so much. I really, I can't like see the screen over there, so I have to watch here. I really appreciate the feedback as we're going through this. Um, okay, so the Graco Trio Go Snug Lock LX, one of the key features that this seat presents is that it's very compact front to back. So if you don't have a ton of space between your vehicle seat and your, and the seat, between the vehicle seat back and the car seat itself, 
let me get this reclined. Then this distance here is pretty good because we can get this seat in a pretty upright position. Not that far because it's gotta be within the recline bubble, but great for um, front to back. The other thing that we really like about this seat, this seat has what's called snug lock technology. And let me see if I can show you. I left the padding in here. So snug lock technology is a way to snug the seatbelt to get a secure installation easier. So these seats will claim that you can install a car seat in under like 60 seconds or something. I don't know about that. Once you get really good, you will certainly be able to do that. But the snug lock technology allows you to tighten up that seatbelt like in like very easily, like no sweating, no swearing. You're going to get it done. So hold on. Let me show it to you. So here's an example. I promise I'll turn this to you. Maneuvering car seats on an Amazon Live is uh, not for the faint of heart, especially when I'm doing it by myself. Okay, so see this um, feature right here? Come on. Can you guys see that? Pant this. So you would route your vehicle seatbelt underneath that and you would push this down and it's gonna sort of cinch the seatbelt to help you get a nice and tight installation. It's a really great feature on um, this car seat. There's some other mechanisms on other car seats that do something similar. Great goes is called snug lock and we like that as a feature, you know, in general. It's also great because for in, if you're gonna travel internationally, this could be a great seat as well um, because it has that, that snug lock technology to help lock the seatbelt in place. This fits newborns well and the LX version of the seat. So a lot of times you're gonna see car seats that have, you know when people like write their names and signatures and they have all these little different letters behind them? You're gonna start to see this with a lot of car seats, especially with the Graco brand. So the Graco brand often names their seats differently based on which retailer they're sold at. And then they add like, di they add like different um, things like LX at the end of it when it offers an additional feature. The LX has a rapid remove cover, meaning that it's a cover that rapidly removes for washability. The one thing that I would say about this seat is that it is, it's a wider seat so if you need to fit seats side by side or three across, this is not your best bet. We've got some other options we're gonna show you here tonight for that. Let's talk about stats real quick. So this one rear faces to 40 pounds and your standing height limit is 49 inches. Forward faces to 65 pounds, standing height limit 49 inches, that's very standard. And the high back booster mode for this seat so because it has that third mode in it, you can see here, this is the shoulder belt guide. Can you guys see that? This is where my seatbelt will go. I hope you can see that sort of. Um, we feel like that, it, a lot of times what happens in car seats is when you outgrow the harness mode, you also outgrow the high back booster mode. Not the case for this seat. You're gonna get a couple more inches between the top of the harness and the, and the belt guide for the high back booster. So we like, it, um, we like it for that as well. It's 19 inches wide and weighs 18 pounds. I literally feel like I'm like a car seat host, of, <laughs> which I guess is what I am. Okay, so let me see if there are, um, <laughs> let me see if there's any other major questions that I'm missing. If you have any questions about the speed seats specifically, let me know. As I said, it is on sale. It is one of our, um, it's one of our most favorites. Uh, it's one of our most favorite seats. So check it out. It's a great option for you at a, um, you know, pretty kind of middle of the range price point as well. Okay, are we good on this seat? Give me like a, we're good, Michelle, move on, because I can see emojis over there. I can't really see words, but I can watch your words back here. Okay, how are we doing? I'm out of breath a little bit. I feel like that's gonna be par for the course. Okay, let's talk about another um, Graco seat. We have a couple Gracos to show you today because Graco does offer a ton of versatility in their car seats and at varying price points. 
So this seat was our top selling seat last year in 2022. This is the Graco Extend Fit um, three in one. And this has an anti-rebound bar. And we love an anti-rebound bar because it helps with exactly what it says, rebound in the event of a car crash. So when a seat goes back and moves forward, this is gonna stop it from going even further forward. So it's a great added safety feature. If you have any car seats that ever have the option for an anti-rebound bar, we have a couple we're gonna show you. We always would recommend that you opt for it. So in the, let's see, will you guys, Lainey and Becca, will you guys click on the next one for me? Um, <laughs> I can't tell, I'm like, maybe it's clicked up there. It's not clicked up here yet. Okay, so Graco Extend Fit, let me give you some of the stats about this one in particular. This is the longest rear facing limits available on the market, 50 pounds, 49 inches. So you're gonna get a ton of rear facing life out of this seat for any kid. It's the best that you can get is in this one. The, as I talked about, the anti-rebound bar is an added safety feature. This has a leg panel for extra rear facing room. So it, even though it's a pretty compact seat front to back, when you add in your extended leg panel, do you guys see that? So it's like in and then it comes out, pushes the anti-rebound bar way out. But it, that way you can kind of maximize the seat to its limits. Remember 50 pounds, 49 inches but obviously that's gonna change the compactness of the seat when you extend this leg panel, but it's gonna give your kiddo a lot of extra um, inches of room there. So the other thing that we like about it is it has a rapid remove cover as well, again, for ease of washability, can be great for kids that um, are prone to car sickness or are in that potty training stage as well. Okay. I seriously feel like I'm out of breath. There's a lot of chatter happening in the comments. I like to see it. I think we're talking about new cars, free cars. Okay, Lainey's troubleshooting harness issues. Does anybody have any questions about um, the extent to fit that we are sharing here? Let me see if there are anything else. So I shared with you 50 pounds, 49 inches for this one. And then if we flip it to um, forward facing mode, right? You would get 65 pounds and 49 inches. This also goes to high back booster mode. Again, having that shoulder belt guide that I shared with you on the other seat. So you can see it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty tall here. Here's the shoulder belt guide. We, this one will think past, if you max out your uh, harness in forward facing. This will last probably another year or so that your kid can get a good belt fit as well. So you're going to get like a lot of years out of this seat. Um, okay, 20 inches wide, weighs 22 pounds. So you're not going to be using this side by side by side. So no three across with this seat. You're, we're going to opt for some better options. Okay, are we good? All right. Let's go on to, um, this is the last Graco of the, of today's part one of convertible, convertible car seats that we love. I've shared two with you so far. This next one is another one. It's, it's, it's got one unique thing. That's the only thing, the, the only one on the market that has this. Does anybody know what it is? It's not really that it has something. It just is something. Anybody know what the key differentiator about this seat is? It's the Graco Slim Fit 3LX. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> so the key thing about this seat is the slimmest convertible seat currently available. So it's great for three across and it's great. So great for three across, great for side by side. It's 16.7 inches wide. So if you think, if you can like, let's see if I can, let's see if my CrossFit is paying off. But if I hold up these, this seat compared to this one, can you see it's a pretty significant width difference, right? So if you're trying to get seats side by side or three across, or you are planning on expanding your family and you think that might be something you're going to want to do, you may want to opt for a slimmer seat from the get go. This one also has that snug lock technology that I shared with you on the first seat, um, which is really great too. 
So Slim's car seat available, very compact rear facing. Let me show you. So it's slim and compact. Like, that's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right? I would have to check the recline angle to see. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably about where you're going to get. But like, you guys, that's like coming just barely off of the vehicle seat. So it's just super compact front to back if you are looking at, um, looking at tight space. Just bought this seat for my little guy. Glad to see it's one of your top recommendations. Yay! It definitely, definitely is. Um, has a lock off for forward facing, which makes installation in that mode easier. Also has a rapid remove cover. Again, great for car sick kiddos or potty training kiddos, or just kids who get messy with all the things in their seat. Um, there's really the only con that we could like come up with for this seat is you have to like traditionally install it in the rear facing mode, which you guys, if you're following along, safe in the seat everywhere that we are, you know that we can whip up a, an installation of, you know, most seats in a couple of minutes once you know the technique to do it, right? So we just be routing our vehicle belt or our lower anchor connectors through the rear facing belt path, locking it up if we've got the seat belt. Um, what else? 16.7 inches wide. It weighs 18 pounds. It's not crazy heavy, uh, but it's a really just, again, the highlight of this seat is the width of it um, for those tight three across or side by side situations. Okay. Uh, let me see what else is happening in here. You know, I do want to remind you guys that... Um, one of our like best selling products at Safe in the Seat is the car seat buying kits. So if the process of choosing a seat, like even of all these great ones that we're showing you, you're like, how do I decide between all of them? That's why we created the car seat buying kits that have this and all the other recommended seats in it. So you can always find that on our website. Let's talk about the two even flow revolves that you're going to see here next. There are quite a few swivel seats on the market tonight for, for today's, um, Live, I gotta go behind the camera, hold on. For today's live, we're gonna be showing you the Revolve. So now there is a Revolve Extend on the market too. This has some leaves in it, cool. Uh, so this, um, okay. So this particular one, the Evenflow Gold Revolve 360, it's a swivel seat, as I said. Let me show you, you would use your top tether in this seat, right? Okay, so this seat swivels, fancy, right? Yes, swivel seats are equally as safe as seats that do not swivel. They all have to pass the same federal crash test standards, okay? Um, all right, so for this seat, it's an easy install. It's also got one of those tensioning I will show you. Let's see if I can get the right camera angle to show you. It also, can you guys sort of see this? So it has like this, oh, leaves. It also has this um, belt here as well that's gonna, or this like panel that's gonna tighten the vehicle seat belt. So that helps with the ease of installation on this seat. Uh, what we also, it does come in two parts. So I do that like maybe, Maybe you haven't ever seen that before. So the Revolve, you obviously can't use this on its own. No, it does not go into a stroller or anything. Um, you put the base in and then you, you know, put your car seat itself in there. This seat has a really high harness height. So if your kid's butt is down here and they're, you know, we have to have their shoulder straps just at or below their shoulders when we're facing and their head has to be one inch below the top. This is a long torso kid that can fit in this for a really long time. So this one has a 40 pound weight limit and the one I'm gonna share with you next, the even the Revolve Extend has a 50 pound weight limit. So 40 pounds here, it's one of the biggest differences between the two, 40 pounds and 50 pounds. So if you have a kid with a long torso, this is a, this, the, both of the Revolves are really great um, seat options for you. This part of the car seat, the base that I was showing you, 
This serves as an anti-rebound bar. So remember I showed you on that extend to fit three and one that we had an anti-rebound bar. So hold on, let me wiggle over here and show you. Cause we have quite a few seats today that have re anti-rebound bars, but they all, some of them like look different. This one looks like that. This one is this flat panel here that goes up against the vehicle seat. Again, they're doing the same thing. They're preventing that rebound, that seat from flipping forward and back in the event of a car crash. Whew, I gotta slow down. What's happening in the comments? Can you guys take over for a minute? <laughs> okay, so because it has a 40 inch rear facing limit, the 40 inch like standing height limit, that's one of the cons, if you will, about this particular seat and perhaps why we would kind of lean you towards the extend because the extend has a 48 inch height limit. It's still gonna last you a really long time because it has that really tall harness height. So just, you know, keep that in mind. It's also definitely too wide for a three across situation. We have two seats today that are really great for um, three across type situations. The, um, the one that I just shared with you and then the, the Clec is coming up, which is another great seat for you know fitting seats side by side 65 pounds 49 inches in forward facing mode and the high back booster mode in this seat so again it has that belt guide um I'll show you so again up here this is going to last probably 18 to 24 months ish after your kiddo outgrows the harness mode the harness in forward facing mode I know this is like not the most riveting Amazon Live because I'm just throwing stats at you, but what I hope is that you can kind of look at these seats, compare them, see what they look like a little bit, and then if you're watching the replay, you'll also be able to kind of like pause and take a look at, you know, just some of the like features on the seats too. So please keep dropping in comments as you have them. We will do our best to answer. I know Lainey is on it. Um, okay, so that's the, that's the Revolve that has been on the market for a while. It's the one that I have. The Extend is also being sold here at, on Amazon. I do not have it in my possession yet. It is literally on its way. Uh, but here are the key differences. All of the same pros as this one that I shared with you here as this original Revolve. Plus it has a much longer rear facing limit, right? So I told you that it has a 50 pound rear facing limit, 48 inch height limit, and it has a zip off cover. So who doesn't love a zip off cover with kids? The regular, the original um, Revolve does not. And it also has a leg rest. Those are kind of the key differences. Same con as before is in that I mean, it may or may not be a con for you. You can't fit seats side by side um, with the width of this seat. Plus when you're talking about a rotating seat, it would be a little bit tricky to have it rotate into something else. So that's kind of the overview of the Extend. Um, these, wow, this weighs 30 pounds. I, it almost, honestly, it feels like it weighs more than that, but it's a, um, oh, and Lainey told me that the, it, the Extend has an aircraft approval, I believe. I mean, kudos to you if you guys want to be schlepping this baby around an airplane, but you know, if it's approved, it's approved. Okay, are we good? Lots of you guys jumping on and off. I'm really glad you're here. Click the follow button so that we can welcome you. Hi, Hannah. Thanks for following along. Okay, let's move into the Kleck Foomp. So have you guys heard of Kleck before? Kleck is made out of Canada. Oh, here's my 30 pounds. Moving on over. Okay. The click boom weighs more than that. <laughs> Let me see. What does the click boom weigh? 36 pounds. So this is a beast of a seat in the best possible way. I love me a good click boom, but it is heavy. I don't feel like the sturdiness of the click boom. They're all safe seats, guys. Every single one here passes the same federal crash test standards. Um, hi, Magdalena, thanks, Magdalena, Magdalena. Uh, happy you're here. Okay, so click, boom. It has an anti-rebound bar. So remember, we talked about those in the other seats as well. So great added safety feature. 
It's got a really pretty simple uh, installation as well. With this seat, you actually remove the pad here. Where's my, oh, it's stuck. This seat is um, an older one that actually, my daughter used to ride in the phone. Oh, and it's messy. So you kind of remove the pad and then you route your vehicle belt or your lower anchor connectors underneath these blue lock offs here. So we have tons of demos of this kind of stuff in our other social platforms and in our online courses if you need help with installation. Lotto, thank you for following along. Okay, so ease of installation. Here's a key, key feature on this seat that sets it apart. In forward facing mode, it has you would take this footer off and take the anti-rebound bar off if you were gonna turn it to forward facing mode. But because I'm with you live, I'm not going to uh, do all of that. But these are, oh boy, hold on, let me just. Can you guys see those little things sticking out right there? That, those are called rigid lower anchors. And they make installing a seat super simple as well. It's one of the unique features of the Kleck Foom is that it has those rigid lower anchors. You may have heard of the Kleck Flow as well. The Flow, for example, does not have those rigid lower anchors. Um, it's very narrow seat as well at 17 inches wide, making it great for three across side by side type situation with car seats. So the other one I think was 16.7. I need to make sure I'm saying that correct. Yes, 16.7 inches wide on the Slim Fit 3LX, and this one is 17 inches wide. So you can see it's still like a very, uh, you know, so barely any difference between the two, but this is just such a great option for three across. This one is hand wash only, so just something to be aware of. The cover, it's possible to remove the cover, but I don't know that you're gonna wanna do it. <laughs> so. <laughs> not on the regular anyway. So that's something to consider if important to you. The other thing I want you to be aware of is that you can see just from the seats I've set on this vehicle seat here that it sits up very high. Now that can be great for a lot of kids because they can easily see out the window, right? But the one thing you wanna be aware of is that if you're looking in your rear view mirror, depending on where you place the car seat, your own height, how you set up your vehicle seat, it can obstruct the view as you're looking back in the rear view mirror. So it's just something I want you to be aware of um, if you purchase the Kleck Foom. Again, can be great because kids are sitting higher up, but could be um, something that you need to be aware of so that it doesn't like visually impact you as the driver. This seat also has pretty low sides, which people talk about as well, in terms of like getting our kids in and out of the car seats. Okay, um, 50 pounds rear facing 43 inch standing height limit. And then it has the forward facing mode, 65 pounds, 49 inches. Again, I told you it was 17 inches wide and it weighs 36 pounds. So our heaviest seat that you're gonna see here today. Anybody have any questions about the foam? The foam again has the rigid lower anchors um, and the flow does not, if that's one of the things that you are looking at, the flow sits a little bit lower as well as a result. Okay. <laughs> can you, you, the audio is okay, right? Can, can you guys hear me okay? I see one comment about the audio. I'm trying to speak loudly because I know I'm back, you know, on this over here away from the, away from the camera. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for following along. Glad you're here. All right, let's talk about the drive on, which thankfully is only 14 pounds. So it's giving me a break and lifting seats, which means this is a really great century drive on is this seat. This is a great option for travel because it is lighter in weight. So if you are looking for a travel car seat, this might be one for you to consider. It's also pretty, the other cool thing about this car seat is it's made of recycled materials. We got to see this at a, um, when we were, when it just got released at a national um, child passenger safety convention, if you will. And we got to see like how they're doing, like how they're making it with the, all the recycled um, materials. It's very cool. So that's one of the key sort of standout things about this seat, again, it's lightweight, which makes it great for a travel option. 
A couple of things I want you to be aware of, not necessarily cons, but just things to use caution on. This seat only allows one recline position. So all of the other ones that I've shared with you, they have, well, that's not true. The Foomp only has um, two positions rear facing, but this one has a footer at the base. And so you can only have it in one rear, one rear facing recline, which means it can impact the compactness of the seat. It's kind of dependent on your seat slope as well. So one recline position is allowed in rear facing mode. Um, no ease of use, like ease of installation features, but you guys, once you learn how to install a car seat, it all becomes easy. Some of these have those tensioning panels like I shared with you, which is a lovely feature. But once you know the proper technique, it's like riding a bike. Once you know how to ride a bike, you know how to ride a bike. It's the same with car seats. Um, okay. This one, let's see what else. Um, it's, a, it's too wide for three across as well at 19 inches wide. So it's not a good option for that either. Rear faces to 40 pounds, standing height of 49 inches, forward facing mode, 65 pounds, 49 inches. This one also has your high back booster mode, which we're saying will last nine to 12 months ish past the time your forward facing kids outgrow the harness. So just a great like all around seat. Um, okay, let me see if I missed anything about that one. Anybody, let me check the, um, let me check the comments. All right, everybody's good. You guys are, I hope not completely zoned out on me. <laughs> I hope you're finding this helpful. Uh, okay, let's move on to the Britax Boulevard. So we actually have two Britax seats that we're gonna show you next. The Britax seats have what's called click tight technology or click tight panels. And they're also one of those ease of installation features. So in a click tight panel, we literally lift up a portion of the seat and you route the vehicle seatbelt through, you push it down, and that's how you get a tight seatbelt installation. Um, but just a great feature on the Britax seats that's universal across the Britax seats. So for the Boulevard, ease of installation, which we just talked about, you can buy an anti-rebound bar to go on this seat, which I actually have since ordered because I don't have one yet for this. But if I have the option of an anti-rebound bar, I'm always gonna add it. So anti-rebound bar is pretty compact front to back. So again, this one has multiple um, recline angle. I'm used to looking at that. Okay. This one has multiple recline angle positions, right? You can't put it up, right? But you gotta stay within your level line and be on level ground and all that good stuff, but you can get it reasonably compact. We've shown you some other ones that can get more compact, but it's not a monster size going front to back. So that can be good for it. It also has a really tall harness height. So if your kiddo is long torso, I didn't even know what that meant. When my son was born and I, he kept outgrowing car seats before we reached the weight or standing height limit, I was like, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Oh, uh, because he has a long torso. Good to know. So if your kiddo has a long torso as well, you're gonna get a lot of use out of this seat because of the tall harness height. It is a hand wash only seat, something to consider. There are safe wash versions. So again, when we talk about some of the differences between various car seats, if it says safe wash, that means you're able to wash the cover. So if that's important to you, get one that says that, says that on it. Rear faces to 40 pounds, 49 inch standing height limit in rear facing. It weighs 28 pounds. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Whew. Uh, it weighs 28 pounds, it's 18 inches wide. How are we doing? For those of you that are still listening in any capacity, can you just drop me like a smiley face or something in the comments? As I'm sitting here sweating for you guys, happy to do it. Just let me know you're still there and listening with, you know, a part of an ear. Um, okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, wait, we have two more to go. So this is like a pretty good, like, initial part one of 
how many suits are in there? 10 or 11 that we really like and recommend. And hopefully you're getting a good idea of, you know, the, we're highlighting the, the key differences between them and the key standout features. Um, so hopefully that helps. Thanks, Lily and Tiffany. Um, Tony, thank you for your follow. Um, Sarah, why don't they come with the anti-rebound bar? My baby's nine months is necessary for either retox. So an anti-rebound bar, I don't know why they don't come with them. <laughs> so, um, it, we don't know if an anti-rebound bar is necessary or not because we don't know what type of crash you're gonna be in. So it really is just playing your playing the odds, deciding what, you know, what's important, like what risks sort of you're willing to take. Many car seats on the market do not have anti-rebound bars at all. Again, they all still pass the same federal crash test standards. We just don't know everything about every vehicle, every installation, every type of crash to be able to predict exactly how a seat's gonna perform. We know it has to perform a certain way in all, you know, in all of the federal crash test standing, in all of the federal crash tests. But beyond that, we sort of have to like, we don't know for sure. We can tell you that when you have an anti-rebound bar, the seat in the event of a crash will be less likely to move forward and fall back because that rebound bar will stop it from doing so. Is that important to you? You gotta decide. Okay, Britax one for life. Here's another beast of a seat <laughs> um, that weighs 29 pounds and it does have an anti-rebound bar that you have to buy separately. I don't make up the rules. I just share the seats with you. This one just came in this week. I'm lucky, very lucky that some of the manufacturers so kindly gift me the seats, but I will talk about them however I want. <laughs> so that's part of the, um, that's part of the rules. So Britax one for life. Again, we've got that click type panel for ease of installation. Right? So you're to route your belt through there. You do the same for if you're using the rear facing or forward facing belt path. Click it down, your seat belt's in there. It's nice and tight now. Great feature for ease of installation. You can buy the anti-rebound bar as I shared to add to it. Also has a tall harness height like the Boulevard that I showed you, which is great for kids with long torso. And it has high rear facing limits. So the Boulevard, that we just shared with you. So that one has a 40 pound rear facing limit, whereas the one for life has a 50 pound rear facing limit. So one of the key differences between the two. This is definitely too wide um, for three across situations. It's 19 and a half inches. It's hand wash only except for that safe wash version. So again, if that's important to you, look for the word safe wash. Um, some people will say that the harness on this seat can be a little bit hard to tighten. Obviously it's doable, but we're just kind of sharing with you what, you know, for the good of the group, what we hear some people say is that the harness can be a little bit hard to tighten, but obviously very possible. Um, it also has high back booster mode on this seat as well. I'll loosen the harness up so I can show you. So you would remove the anti-rebound. The anti-rebound bar panels, by the way, are used only in rear facing mode, right? Because rebound into the vehicle seat would not be necessary in forward facing mode. So this stuff comes off, you change some other things, but in high back booster mode, you're gonna get a good probably two more years after your kiddo outgrows the harness height for them to be in that high back booster mode in this seat. So, you know, that's some, that's some longevity with, with this seat. Okay, keep dropping your questions in as you have them. I can see over here, just not over there. And Lainey's on as well, answering questions. Okay, the next seat that we're gonna talk about is the NextFit Max. Now, in full disclosure, I have the regular Netflix, 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 no, NextFit. I have the regular one to show you because it's one that my kiddo rode in for a while. So it's also not the cleanest looking seat that you've ever seen, but the general principles of it are the same. So I felt like it was better to at least give you a bit of a visual um, than not. 
I have washed this, but actually I did a whole YouTube video washing this particular seat and I gotta tell you, it was the first time I ever did it. It was quite the experience. Okay, the pros, um, the clear text. So again, those words that manufacturers add in. Clear text on the Kiko NextFit Max means that it is flame retardant free, no added chemicals. It's all based on the type of fabric that they use, that it's naturally flame retardant. So if that's important to you, that is in this seat. Um, it has good leg room for a rear facing child. I can personally attest to that. My daughter was in this seat until she was four. Uh, it doesn't have a one inch rule for rear facing. So again, because car seats are complicated, the, and they're, they can all never you know, be the same to make it easy for us. But the, on average, the rule is that your kiddo's head has to be one inch below the top of the car seat in rear facing or the fully extended handle. Like if it has a handle. For this seat, there is no one inch rule. So there you have it. That's, that's important to you. Um, then this is the seat for you. It has a high rear facing limit at 50 pounds as well. Um, the lower rear facing height limit. So while their head can be up to like the top of the shell, it's a 43 inch height limit for rear facing. So many kids will outgrow it by height before they come close to the weight limit. So that's something to think about. And it's way too wide for three across situations because it is nine, you can kind of see here it's 19 inches wide. So not your best option for three across. Rear face is at 50 pounds, 43 inch height, standing height limit. In forward facing mode, 65 pounds, 49 inch height limit. And this baby weighs 27 pounds. How do we do? What questions do you have about these seats? Anything in particular that you wanna see? You wanna make me pick up these heavy seats again and put them up on the seat for you, which I will do. Uh, hopefully again, like I said, you were able to gather some of our like favorite features and then a couple things to maybe be aware of or you know proceed with caution on the various seats. The great news is there is a best seat for you. There are a lot of things to consider when purchasing a car seat. And again, shameless plug for our buying kits because they're the best in the business to help you find the very best seat for you. I wanna remind you there are quite a few seats here that are on sale. And while it's very tempting just to pull the trigger because something's on sale, make sure that you check all of the other things that we've shared with you, that it will work with your vehicle, with your kid, with your lifestyle, with your budget, all that kind of stuff. All those things factor into choosing the best car seat for you. And we are like so honored at Safe in the Seat that you all trust us to help guide you through that buying process because you know our goal in a, is to help you find like pick the right seat once for that stage. You're gonna have to buy other seats so that you aren't having to buy more than one seat or having buyers you know remorse for choosing the wrong one or pulling the tr the um, you know the trigger on something just because it's on sale and then finding out later. It's not the best for your family. Um, okay, I have long torso babies. How to find those harness heights? Well, Kylie, so you can go through uh, some of the main, Lainey might be able to answer this better from specifics. We list all that stuff in the buying kits. We have a full air table with every stat you could ever wanna know that you can compare and what a blah, yada yada. Um, some of the car seat manufacturers list the harness heights, some of them do not. Go to the manufacturer's website for that information, or you can do what we do when we can't find them, which is take a tape measure and go into various places and start measuring car seats or ordering them <laughs> and measuring so that we can update our buying kits with it. Um, yeah, there we go, we have them listed. Um, I can tell you that One for Life and Revolve have the highest harness heights in this live. One for Life is 19 and Revolve is 19.5. Lady to the rescue. Um, okay, yay. What other questions? You can see like Lady is like the master of all things detail and technical with car seats. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple more minutes in case you have something specific to ask because uh, she will know the answer and she just pulled that off the top of her head, which is uh, amazing. Did anybody find a seat today that you were thinking about, that maybe you heard something that either is gonna make you add to cart, you're ready to buy it, or 
maybe you're thinking you're having second thoughts that maybe it's not the right one. Anybody have anything to share there? And or if you have any of these seats, it is super helpful if you share anything about it in the comments for other people that may be considering the seats. So just, you know, experience from you all obviously is, is really important for others when they're buying as well. All right, I hope you guys got some good options. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes because comments are always delayed and I end up signing off and then like four comments come in. Um, I hope this was a good start to convertible car seats that we at Safe in the Seat love and recommend. If all the, you know, we gotta make sure all the other things match for you, your vehicle, your, uh, your kid, your lifestyle, your budget, all those things are factors to consider when choosing the best car seat for your family. Um, all right, let's see. Anybody else have anything else before we sign off? All right, I'm super thankful you're here. Um, yep, there are five seats in the line that have 50 pound rear facing limits that we talked about. So those are here if you're, if that's one of the factors that's important to you. Um, all right, I will see you on the next one. We will be sharing more car seats in future lives. We're kind of be doing some roundups like these of convertible seats, of infant seats. Um, so stay tuned for that as well as just all of our normal Amazon lives that we do with, you know, mom stuff, kids stuff, baby stuff. So thank you again for being on. Bye everybody.